and we are ready to begin. It will be Lena to throw first for the ball. The first of our Windmill World Masters 2022 finals. And it's Lida Lanko of Finland and Paige Pauling of England. Two girls outside the ball. Looking to get their name on the trophy. Paige Pauling, as Anthony Dundas announced, fresh from her World Open title yesterday. 46 60 Ida was in group A in the girls 25. Group stages of the World Masters. She had three games and she successfully negotiated all three. Beating Jana Lies of Belgium, 4-2. Jacqueline Ranch of Germany, 4-0. And then Camilla Masden of Denmark, 4-2. Paige Pauling also had three games in the in Group B, 100. and Paige had a 4-1 victory over Dorina Sipos of 24. Hungary. A 4-1 victory over her fellow country lady, Isla Lightly, and a 4-3 victory over Kenzie Anderson of the USA. So, 177. 177 there for Paige has put the cat amongst the pigeons because or, or having said that, still the double sixteen for the first leg. But, you know, is it? Despite the 177, she didn't feel the pressure in any way, shape or form, and has taken the first leg against the darts. Well. Fine start, an eighty-six out shot for the girl from Finland. And in the knockout stages, these two girls. Nita Lanko beat Kylie Chapman 4-1 in the last 16. Whilst Paige Pauling beat Abigail Harty, also of Canada, by the same score, 4-1. The quarters. Nita 4-0 victory over Leila Alansari of Egypt. Paige beat Jana Lays 4-3, the Belgian. And then into the semi-finals, it was a 4-0 victory for Lida Lanko over England's Lauren Stoko, whilst Paige Pauling came through a more than close affair against 81. Scotland's Sophie McKinley, 4-3. And that's the, the travel to the final for these two girls. Mr. Dundas has returned, having a bit of a read of things. <coughs> Indeed. Good, good finish to the first leg there. A 1 7 solo, 7 didn't put our finished competitor off in any way. She took out the 86 with little if no signs of nerves in any way, shape, or form. 100. Playing very nicely. Very nicely indeed. I have a 42. correction to make. Oh, oh dear. Yes. You've lied to people, have you? I have, yes. You should, be, you should be banished. <laughs> I mistakenly said that Barry Copeland would be the first oh, Northern my Irishman me. to play in the, the World Masters final. I'm assuming you've upset Neil Duff, Gareth McCleary and co. <laughs> a young man by the name of Ray Farrell reached the final of the Windmill World Masters all the way back in 1985. OK. I was minus one, that's my excuse. Ah, that's what you're saying, is it? Lost that final to Dave Whitcomb. So, yes, Barry Copeland is the second Northern Irishman to play in the Windmill World Masters men's final. So the word you're looking for is check. 60. Check is correct, Leader yes. Leader on 48 then. 
not guaranteed to get another three, but she thinks she's coming back, but she'd rather do exactly as she did in the first leg and just pop this double 16 in. 16. Not to be. Paige pulling then on one, four, five, treble 20. Unlucky with that dart. Oh, well, that even one. unluckier. She got rid of the 25 to leave Leader Shanghai, but... Two. Double eight. Still double eight. Oh, 24. is this a chance then? 120, eminently more gettable than 145. Needs the treble. Not to beat. But this time, a leader you would suggest really does need to bury this double four. One dart in hand for a 2 0 lead. And is Your that score. the difference? Yes, it is. No change of expression from behind the hockey. Little look, but you can only guess what's going through the young lady's mind. 99. Start from Paige. Yeah, unfortunately, you've given Paige a bit of a sniff of glory now, and that's painful. You can see at the front of the auditorium 60. there, Dita Hedman, complete with cast still on left arm, where she tumbled down the tube 100. stairs in, at Marble Arch a few weeks ago now. Always a massive supporter, a massive fan of the youth. So here to... Come and support 60. the girls. Well, I did notice as the girls were waiting to make the walk onto stage, Rita was there congratulating them both on a good run and wishing them both the best of luck. Yeah. A true ambassador for youth darts is Dita Hedman. Paige Pauling certainly has taken the benefit, shall we say, of that fortuitous second leg win and 162 after nine. 58. Certainly doesn't hang about when she throws her darts to Paige. Wesley plays here in the background, having a bit of a chat with the boys. Probably telling her how he always had it under control, despite the fact that his opponent had darts to win the, the match in his semi-final. 2-1-8. Mentioned on stage, Dita had a run to the quarterfinals of the Euro Cup Youth 14. Singles. Okay. Lost to Amy Evans in that match as Paige Pauling hits tops to make the scoreline two legs to one. Defeated Tamara Kovash in our group, the Hungarian, who's a fantastic youth player. Made it all the way to the quarters where Amy Evans of England defeated her. Amy in this crowd. But you can just see her. Next to lead us hip there. And supporting Paige, our England youth teammate. Those girls were the team that won 60. the British Internationals this year. And of course, the Europe Cup youth girls overall title mm -hmm. went to England. Good to see a number of the senior players in the room. You can see with the red jumper there, just to the left, Darlene Van Sluen. From Canada, 55. Darlene came over to the World uh, World Championships at the Lakeside in back in April. First lady that I've ever seen, or first player I've ever seen, try and go out on 70 by going 19, 19, double 16. <laughs> Had a profound effect on us all, did it Darlene? Did. It did indeed. It did indeed. There you go. Good size crowd, I think. If you're both in there, and there's a 180. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding stuff. Unfortunately for Lida, what I was wondering might happen is Paige got the boost of that first leg when she should really have been 2 0 down and is really beginning to put her foot on the gas. And theoretically, she could take this final out of the reach of the finish girl. 55. We'll be back for 56. Leader just has to try and pressurise this as best she can. 60. Slight pressure. 56. Pops. Double 10 now. 
Yes, and she should be back. And indeed she will. Treble 10 or treble 18, okay. Would have been interesting. Could have left two. Mm. Ten or a six here, we think. Ten for double 16. Double 16 it is. She hit it in the first leg, missed it in the second leg. She's missed it in the third leg. But can she hit double eight? No, she cannot. Double five then for Paige. And it's their second time of asking. And that's a break of throw. Fifth leg, it's Paige to throw Paige. Game on. Three legs to one ahead. Two away from World Masters glory. With it, you can see the wonderful array of trophies in the background there. I always wonder, if you, unless you live in the Netherlands, how do you get that back to your country? Well, you could always wear that as a hat. That would be possible, I suppose, yeah. It would be uncomfortable and unconventional, but... 85. Paige, with her win yesterday, won the World Open trophy, which is definitely going to take her over the weight limit <laughs> in her oh, suitcase. Now then. 140. Dark. Leader. Yeah, so the weight's going to be over. Now, I'll, we'll, she do well to find a suitcase with that melted down. Mm, a definitely. lovely trophy, having said that. The beautiful trophies we've had this week for the 45. World Masters and, and indeed the World Open as well. 44. Indeed, all the, all the presentations being saved for the end of the tournament. Great to then get all four champions on the stage. Yes, indeed. Together. I believe it will be me and V making the presentations. Indeed, and along with the uh, a dignitary from the Bonta Weaver as well. You weren't aware? I wasn't. Ah. <laughs> no one tells me anything. Mr. Engelberting will give us the details later. Ah, yes. Always rely on the Dutch to... Give us for the information we need. Lovely, wow. lovely 77 finish there from Paige Pauling. 4-1 from, from 1 nil down and quite frankly should have been 2 nil down. She is now one leg away from World Masters Glory. They start from the fin in this, the sixth leg. Interesting to see in the next game, Anthony. I, I haven't seen, I mean, you've been down. Have we got many Americans in? Are they all in? We had a big crowd here yesterday cheering on Peter Stewart Jr. Yeah, I think we've got a fair few in. Okay. Peter Stewart Sr. got very emotional after, the, after his son landed the final yesterday. 81. Not quite ton, 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 but 81's a good hit. 220. Made you want to treble here. 85. And finds one. one. Thirty-two. This is a uh, page. This is, I should say, Paige's opportunity, and it looks like she's going to take it. Another treble would really put the wall. Ah. Still a finish. It is. It is. <laughs> one six one. Could have been a lot better, though. Mm -hmm. 40. Paige can acquire 161. So, 161. For the Windmill World Masters title. Oh, bag of nails. Leader, you require 148. Oh, just deflecting. Yes. Stays there. Oh, yes, no, double then. 14 for a 148 out shot. Oh, oh my wow. goodness me. <laughs> Wires width away. If this is the difficult oh. bullseye, what a dart! To quote Sid Waddell, Annie Oakley couldn't hit this with the best shotgun. I hope you're not asking Christian, could he kindly move the dart? Because the answer to Paige is no. I think she knows that anyway. She's just thinking, what do I do? I think she's halfway to the Assen train station. She's in Groningen. Yeah. <laughs> Other way, Paige. Oh, she's walked off the wrong side, but we won't hold that against her. She was discombobulated. Absolutely. Good dart. James Young leader, Lanko. Deserve that after the excellent attempt at the 148, I feel. No disrespect to Paige in any way, shape or form. But Couldn't agree more. 
60. Nice turn to start us off in leg number seven for Lida Lanko. 95. Last leg she went ton, ton 85 or 95, whichever it was, and, and then just missed the 148 out shot. 43. So age averaging 70. So Lida's 67. 45. So not a great deal in it. Very focused young lady. 60. On the 20 bed. 41. Good dance. 100. Tom leaves a finish for Paige. It's a great start. Yep, she's 100. left the 160. Lida really needs a treble herself here. 60. Yes, 138 may not be enough. Page finds a treble. That's a nice lie. She has 100. 60 Lida points away from the World Masters Championship. Good 82. That pressure applied, but 60. Become the girls, win more world master tops. She's done it. Okay, shot. And, the and a fantastic two. display from Paige Pauling and some fireworks to go with it. A 71 and a half average from Paige Pauling secures the WDF win more world masters title for 2022. Fantastic stuff. She will be presented with the trophy a little bit later on. We will be back in a few minutes' time with our second final. It's the boys' final as Luke Whittler of England takes on Peter Stewart Jr. of the United States of America.